and welcome back to the channel today we are diving into something that is going to make the lives of academics engineers and data scientists way much easier have you ever struggled with presenting complex mathematical formulas in your papers slides or code well google's latexify python package has got you covered first up let's talk about latex Latex is a typesetting system mainly used to format complex mathematical formulas. It's a game changer as when it comes to publishing academic papers, technical documents, and so much more. This is an example of how you use Latex in real sense. You have your, your latest script, and then this is going to be the output. It's very interesting. There are several softwares that allows you to write Latex and one of them is Overleaf. You can see different examples of how to write something like an academic journal, bibliography, book, resume, or CV, formal letters. And these are some of the recent templates, something like the thesis latex template, poster template, and other templates that you have here in different languages, of course. Now, let's dive into why you should consider using Latexify. The package helps you to simplify the process of converting your Python functions to latex equation. It saves your time and it enhances the compatibility and readability of your mathematical equations. I'm using Google Colab as my IDE. You can use basic Python code or you use any IDE of your choice. I'm going to start with in in installing latexify, latexify. And we can dive into some basic example. Uh, we're going to start with something like a, as simple as adding two numbers together. The first thing we need to do is import the latex file package, and we'll be working with mathematical equations. So we are going to be needing the mathematical library, which is the math library. So we import math. So the first example we are going to be going for is um the sum of two numbers. So basically, we are going to have a function and which is going to be so, so, sum and it's going to have take two parameters, which is A and B, and we return the sum of the two values. By default, if you call sum one and two, we get three as the output. This is good. How do, we re how do we represent this in LaTeX format? It's simple. The only thing you need to do is add this annotation to it. LaTeXify with LaTeX, or you add LaTeXify with um, expression. These are the two uh, most used uh, function from the LaTeXify library. So the way we do that, is we this is the output if we print this directly we get the output right and if we print some we get the latexify equivalent of this particular code and if we call some directly we get the output of the, the function in latexify format in latex format so this is the output this is the latexify equivalent and this is the output of that LaTeX. So if we change this to with LaTeX, we get the, the left-hand side and the right-hand side of this particular equation, which is the sum A and B equals to A and B. So these two guys gives us this particular equation. So if you pass in two parameters into this particular function, you are going to get A plus B, clear. If you go to the next one, a little bit more complex than just that, and we go into something like an exponential where we have um latexify dot with latex to get the left hand and the right hand side we are going to create an exponential exponential function this, this basically just uh, returns the exponential equivalent of the value that is passed in it's going to be x and if you do print exponential, this gives us the, the latex equivalent, 
calculated equivalent of that particular code. And if you pass in the argument, which is the exponential, and we pass in, let's say, 2, this was the exponential of 2. And if we want to get the latex equivalent, we do exponential directly, we call it. So this gives us the, uh, the latex equivalent, the output of um, exponential of two, and this is the uh, equation. The same thing happens with logarithm. So if you have, uh, let's say something like latexify, dot with latex, and we have logarithm, log rhythm, and we pass in the x to it, and we return math.log, passing x to it. By the time we call uh, print log rhythm of 100, and let's say we say print log rhythm, uh, I can only type. Log right. This gives us the logarithm of hundred. Uh, gives us the latex equivalent and gives us the the output of the equation, right? So let's do something more complex code. Uh, something like getting the vector magnitude. If you do latexify dot expression this gives us the only the right hand side it just don't want us to continue using with later it only gives us the right hand side of the equation and we have the vector magnitude so we call in the x y and z as the parameters and then the arguments and then we return sqrt the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared, right? And if we do vector magnitude, this gives us the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. Let's go into a little bit more complex stuff like quadratic formula, where you have the minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. We just quickly represent that with a quadratic, quadratic um, formula. All right. And then we're going to have latex apply dot group latex. And uh, I'm going to pass in the p values, a, b, and c. And I'm going to return the the first part of the plus sign, which is going to be minus b plus math dot square root of uh, b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2 asterisk a, right? And if we call this quadratic formula, and we print it out, we have the formula, which is the quadratic formula, is minus b squared of b squared, not b82. All right, so I have minus b plus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. But if we want to represent the negative um, version, which is going to be the other the output of this uh, equation, we are going to have the same code. I'm going to copy this. I'll paste it, but I'll change the, the sign to negative. So this gives us a tuple as the output. One is the positive side, and the other one is the negative side. So if you want to call this uh, and get the output, you can do print quadratic formula uh, passing, let's say, I don't know, one, four, and three. And you should get something like uh, maybe minus one and minus three. Yeah. Yeah, this is the output. So you can, you know, customize that. And uh, if, we are, if we want to go into something a little bit more complex than this, something like a, an advanced uh, functionality, I think I'll just add that to this side. Once we are done with this, we are done with the basics. 
we go for the advanced uh, uh, functionalities. So this one's uh, functionality, right? Okay. No, no, it's an ash. What am I typing? Okay. All right. So advanced functionalities. This allows us to use something like uh, if statement, and you can even do for loops. So I'll just uh, click textify dot with uh, LaTeX, and you have piece uh, something like a piece wise where you have an X, and you do an if X is less than zero, return this minus X, and if it is greater than or equals to zero, you return x squared. All right, so if you do a piecewise in here, you get a piecewise equation. Yeah, something like this. And if we do the expression, we only get this right-hand side. We won't, uh, because we won't be bother with the, the left-hand side. Something like, uh, something that uh, is usually common, is to use something like an f so where you have f of x equals to something like uh, something like that you can have the output the same way but it's going to be f of x equals to you know if x is so this is a little bit more fancy if you want something more complex anyways i'll just leave it at that and then the next one that i want to show you is how to you know add some parameters to this with LaTeX and the function itself. So if you have uh, LaTeXify and then you have with LaTeX, all right? And this function is going to be com computing the jacquard similarity of the set here where you have the intersection and the union. Uh, and we have the dev, the jacquard uh, similarity, right? You have the A and B that you're passing to it, and we're going to be returning uh, the length of, uh, I'll just remove the outside bracket in here, A and uh, B divided by the length of uh, A or B. Yeah, this computes the jacquard similarity, and if we do uh, jacquard similarity, we get the output. However, this is not the <clears throat> this is not the actual output that we're expecting. The jacquard output usually looks like J A B in capitals, and then we have the cardinality of A and B in capitals, cardinality of A or B in capitals. So, how do we represent something like that with LaTeX? We just add a func uh, parameter to this particular uh, LaTeX, and we have a use set symbol uh, symbols equals to true. And the and or or will be converted to the set symbol. Okay, something like this, where we have the intersection and the union. All right. Now we need to go one step further so we can replace each of these uh, items in this output. How do we do that? We need to have identifiers, which is what uh, identifiers, which is what is being represented in this output. So we have. The identifiers we have here are jacquard similarity, A, B, len, and uh, yeah, those are the, three, the four uh, identifiers we have here. So what we need to do is we need to have an object which is going to be something like identifiers, and we are going to be replacing them one by one. So we have jacquard similarity, and this is going to be re replaced with it's going to be replaced with something like J. Our small letter A will be replaced with capital letter A. Small letter B will be replaced with capital letter B. And the last one, our len, is going to be replaced with cardinality. Cardinality. Okay. And if we rerun this, uh, we need to just pass these identifiers into this parameter. And that is it. If we rerun this, the function will be uh, laid out pretty nicely as expected. 
and that will be the end. So I'm going to drop the link to the documentation. If you go to PyPy project Latex PyPy, you see how to install it and some products uh, project description. You can also see the official documentation, which is uh, from Google. And uh, let's see, page not found. So all we need to do is go back, and I think we can go into the home page, which is the Google Latexify, and you can see some of these uh, functions that we have in here. Uh, I think they have a, a collaborating notebook where some of these examples are expressed. So you can also get access to this collab and look at the examples. So you can build your examples from there. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I've also written a Medium article that dives into this topic a little bit more deeper. So check that out as well. The link is in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.